So hi dear Aries, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Aries Sun Moon Venus rising from 13th till the 19th of November. Uh, for all the Aries Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind it's general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The rules can be reversed also and this reading is valid for every 12 sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. So let's start the person or like your, par your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now. Aries, let's see. Your person or your partner's current feelings. We have uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Someone is trying to just let it go and surrender to the divine. So if it is like they're in this energy of let the destiny intervene, let the fate decide for this situation. Okay. <laughs> destiny believer kind of a person. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. It could be possible that you guys are like having very less communication or no communication at all at this present moment. Let's see, honey. We have the Queen of Swords, the Hermit. I told you. Oh my God, there's no communication happening in this situation right now at this present moment. Very less or at or uh, um, no communication at all. This is what I'm getting. This person is being very, very practical. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Even if you are not, just go with the energies, Cancer or Pisces. It's like somebody who is deliberately silent with you in this situation because they think let the universe decide for itself uh, whether this situation is meant for me or not. If uh, Aries and I are meant for each other, we guys are going to connect with each other in the future. Uh, their destiny is going to make us meet uh, again. If we are not, it's done. It's gone. So this is what is happening from this person's side right now. They are deliberately silent in the situation because they feel the more they are trying to do something about this uh, situation, the more it's going out of hands. Hmm. Now let's see what do you feel about this particular person and situation. Although this person is not able to like uh, stop thinking about you, about this connection, about this situation. At the same time, they're like, I should not uh, uh, do anything about it. I should just uh, wait and watch. I should just watch from a distance and just let the, the, let the destiny decide. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation. Yeah. It is from your side what's going on. Mm -hmm. from your side wow you're also thinking a lot about the situation it's like silence on both the sides but both of you can't stop thinking about it you are thinking about quite positive about the situation you're quite positive about the situation even if it's not going good the other person they are like in mental jail kind of situation can't think uh, positive it's like uh, two energies two energies with a very different kind of perspective towards the same kind of situation Let's clarify the hermit from your side. Yeah, as your feelings for them. We have the knight of swords, the emperor and the king of swords. You're forcing, you're deliberately forcing yourself not to do anything stupid in the situation. You are like, okay, if they are giving me hard time, if they are not talking to me, I should not also do anything about it. It's like Queen of Swords and King of Swords. I'm telling you, same energy is different perspective. And this is your card only. Aries, this is your card only, the Emperor. You are like, okay, if, I, uh, if they are going to play mind games with me, if they are going to play this silent game with me, I'm also going to give them the same energy. I'm not going to run behind them, back to, back to them or chase them or anything like that. I am just going to be practical and I'm just going to sit on my, sit on my throne and do nothing. <laughs> I'm going to stay in my power. Got it. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Aries. Mm -hmm. Nine of swords. Wow. See, I, I'm telling you, this person is not able to sleep at night thinking about this whole situation. And they're constantly thinking negative about it. Like this is gone. Aries is gone out of my life. They might be happy with somebody else. They are never going to come back. This relationship is never going to work out. This, that, this, that. Creating scenarios in their mind that might not be true. And that might never be true. That might never come out to be as a true kind of uh, situation. But in their mind, everything is like done and gone. And it's a disaster. And uh, everything is gone. Let's clarify the nine of swords here. We have the Queen of Wands, the Magician, Ten of Cups. Wow. 
in this stressful kind of energy they are very attracted to you first thing aries this is someone who is very attracted to your personality very attracted to your look very attracted to the way you handle situations in a certain uh, direction like emotions and uh, like love and relationship kind of dynamic they are manifesting happiness here wow <laughs> they are manifesting happiness they are ha manifesting a long term partnership between you and them they are uh, manifesting a marriage kind of dynamic if not marriage a long term partnership in this intense stressful kind of energy they want you in their life for the long term even if they are not talking to you like in the 3d world they are showing you they don't give a fuck they don't give a damn and shit to this situation but inside of them they are very very serious about the situation to turn out into something meaningful in the coming future like can't sleep at night wanting you back but not doing anything about it moving on they are just physically they are moving on and from inside of them they are like i want them i want aries back in my life i want it i want happiness i want fa family kind of dynamic let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side aries you just want to walk away you don't want to participate in this drama anymore if this this person is not giving you the satisfaction of a beautiful connection of a mature and grounded kind of energy you are ready to let it go you are re ready to walk away or at least you want to try to walk away from the situation completely let's clarify the eight of cups here we have the king of wands the six of wands and the hierophant it's like you want to participate in the situation if they are ready to put in the effort and energy and make this connection work out and take this connection to a higher level of commitment uh, okay if not marriage a higher level of commitment as a long term kind of partnership as a long term kind of dynamic if they are not ready to put in the effort and energy in this connection the way you want it to go you are just ready to let it go you just want to get out of the situation as soon as possible because you know it's it's kind of on and off kind of situation you are dealing with a highly immature kind of energy where you are trying your best to make this work out or like on a mature and grounded kind of level they are play, playing games with you giving you silent treatment giving you blocked kind of energies and you are very frustrated now you are like i'm done with this shit if they are not going to like uh, be mature and stable i am like ready to let it go especially if you are aries woman aries female you are ready to let it go dealing with a very highly mature kind of energy and you are kind of pissed off you are watching this person's every move very very uh, what what should i say i'm not getting the exact word here but you are watching this person's every move and with with each passing day you are being sure that you just let you just want to let it go because they are not providing you the good energies the good vibes that you are wanting in a relationship okay let's see what is coming towards you in love till the 19th of november aries just give me a second honey we have the temperance okay you are going to be very very patient you are going to become like an angel eventually you are going to drop something burdensome and heavy and you are going to be in this light hearted kind of energy of light hearted kind of energy of okay whatever is happening is happening i don't have to lose my calm i don't have to lose my patience i have don't i don't have to lose myself in this situation this is what you are up to let's clarify the temperance we have the 10 of pentacles the sun card and the star card i do see lots of healing lots of happiness happiness lots of positivity the moment you are going to drop your weapons the moment you are going to be like okay whatever is happening let it happen i just want to be patient i just want to be in my own energies lots of uh, like happiness lots of lots of prosperity and lots of good energies are going to surround you to be honest with you it is i don't see a specific energy coming towards you and making you happy you yourself is going to feel happy and free you are going to free you are going to feel like you are free from a burden some kind of energy and now you are healing now you are free like you are a free bird so lots of prosperity happiness abundance and lots of healing is coming in along with that i do see 
न्यू एनर्जीज एंटरिंग इन योर लाइफ न्यू मल्टीपल एनर्जीज एंटरिंग इन योर लाइफ विलिंग टू गिव यू समथिंग दैट यू रियली वॉन्टेड इन अ लव एंड रिलेशनशिप काइंड ऑफ डायनेमिक वेरी गुड आई लाइक इट अ लॉट वेरी गुड फास्ट मूविंग एनर्जीज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल फेज ऑफ योर लाइफ इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वीक ऑनवर्ड्स डोंट रूइन इट डोंट रूइन इट इफ समबडी इज नॉट पार्टिसिपेटिंग इक्वल इन अ सिचुएशन just leave it behind even if it is going to hurt you for some time but trust me you are going to feel so happy and light afterwards i am coming out of that kind of phase myself and it took me 9 fucking months <laughs> to get healed completely but now i'm very happy and very 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 happy in my life touch wood so the guidance for you guys is the four of wands the knight of wands the judgment okay don't participate in a connection just because you are getting attracted or you are getting an infatuated i mean yeah you can definitely participate the first step is attraction only but you uh, don't have a very high expectation from a connection from a situation that's on and off in and out or that has just started or uh, there's just lust in the connection okay you need to release the expectations from that kind of energy and you have to just go with the flow and see where things can go along with that be mindful be be mindful be uh, honest be uh, like uh, in this energy of i know the truth this is the truth of the situation i accept the truth and i am doing all this with all of my uh, like uh, conscious mind and uh, feminine and masculine both the balanced kind of energy okay so don't have very high expectations and you have to release this kind of expectation of something serious from a non serious kind of energy that's it that's what i have to say to you guys as uh, right now at this present moment so thank you so much for tuning in aries i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste